What is up everyone? First of all, I want to dedicate this video to my friends, the Craven family. They love watching my vacuum videos, which is kind of unique, and I like that. So, this video goes out to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, yesterday we uh, vacuumed with the two Eurekas. They're still over there. Um, today we are vacuuming with the Bissell, Dirt Devil, and Ricard. They're all going to do this one big area. And... Uh, but we're going to use the Dirt Devil right now to go around the perimeter and get any cobwebs that I miss with the duster stick. So, uh, and uh, I do have to show you one thing. I'm multitasking with two different cameras, so bear with me here. Okay, you see that outlet right here? It The top one has not been working right, and when I plugged the one vacuum in to test it, it, it well, not to test it, to use it the one time I vacuumed my basement, it was revving the vacuum, and I'm like, I wasn't even touching the power switch, and I unplugged it, and this day when I plugged in a power strip, which is over on the table, I'll show it to, uh, to one of the cameras, so you know what I'm talking about, It the lights on the uh, switches were flickering, so it's short now and on top, so that's no longer a good outlet. So what we have done is we have... There's a power strip over there. I'm going to zoom it in with this camera because this one's still plugged in. There it is over there. Each vacuum has its own little outlet. It will not be running at the same time, but this so we don't have to stretch the cords all over the place. We decided this. I plugged it into one. And uh, the Bissell uh, usually uses the orange power cord, but I'm using it for my Dirt Devil since it has a short cord as well. So Anyway, let's get this party started. First up is the Dirt Devil. Doing it's the up against the perimeter of the uh, basement. We are going to pull the camera over so we can get a nice angled shot. And unfortunately, I was gonna I want to try this out eventually, but the GoPro is dead. Uh, I was gonna do a vacuum cam. So uh, anyway, so for this camera over here, I need to close that. This is the power strip. Yeah, it's. Really not meant to be used as a power strip, I'm just using it temporarily. Each of the vacuums has their own little switch, so we have the Ricard, Pistol, and the Drift Devil. So, uh, each one has a designated channel. And, uh, so, let's get going, shall we? Uh, I do apologize in advance, this tripod is extremely crappy. This one right here, it's kind of a cheap one, so... Oh well. So basically all you do if you want to do get to the suction hose on this is you pull up on the lever and then you uncouple it. Usually it's quite easy. Hang on. Bear with me here. Sometimes it likes to cooperate, sometimes it doesn't. Ugh, and today is just one of those days. I don't know. Hang on, you have to do like some weird thing in order for it to like, decouple or something. Hmm. Usually it comes right off. Hang on. Ugh. There it goes. It has to be plugged in, that's right. Uh, <sighs> brain fart, oh well. So we'll plug that back in. So now let's go ahead and start with this. <laughs> this thing has gotten clogged once already, so I always like to make sure it's not clogged.
their volume accordingly and they be loud. spots, hence the duct tape if you saw it. It did pretty good. Now it's time to do the favorite thing I love to do on this vacuum. It's probably one of my favorite features. Yeah, except for when it does that. That way we can just get the cord out of the way. So it, it had a little mini section because uh, I'm going to be featuring it more. But I, I didn't know how big the sections were going to be so and where the furniture is, so yeah, blah, 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 I'll shut up. Okay. Now what we are going to be doing is we're going to be using the Bissell Clean View Helix Bagless. All cleaned out, filtered, cleaned, and everything. It vacuumed out my room the other day, and uh, my room doesn't get vacuumed all that much, and it's usually messy and covered with grass because, you know, mowing lawns and changing it, I tend to shed grass, so... It gets grassy in there. So, anyways, uh, and that all that crap you see was from the last time I vacuumed my bedroom in the middle. So, uh, all right, I want to make sure the car gets some. Uh, uh, paper clip. Uh, never like vacuuming up paper clips uh, with any vacuum because they sometimes will have a tendency to get stuck in the tubing. So, okay. So let's get this party started. <laughs>
Linda does a good job. Whoop. Ah, missed the spot. Just one little kernel. I saw you up against the wall. I missed you. What the dirt devil? Why did I just throw a drum set thing? Okay. Well, we got two vacuums down, one to go. And then we're going to be doing steps with the sharks. And then, now we're going to be using the vacuum that, like the Simplicity 7 series at my church, is one of my favorite vacuums. I don't care what Dyson, Bissell, Hoover, any vacuum. Probably one of my favorite vacuums I've ever used is the Simplicity 7 series at my church. And uh, it, it has the best sex, uh, sex, <laughs> suction of all. Vacuums, that's going to highlight on my day. Screwed that up. Anyway, it has the best suction. I ah, said it again. Suction of any vacuum I've ever used. It's, and Ricard and Simplicity Vacuums are basically kind of like sister companies. They, they're they closely related. Uh, both have great suction. And uh, both... I've had this before Dyson really became popular. So, And my grandma had one. And... Uh, uh, this is pro. I think this is my grandma's. We used to have two. One broke because I think it had a bad cord inside the uh, vacuum, and I don't know because we had that a long time and it had a lot more use than my grandma. So my grandma replaced it with a Hoover and uh, everything. So, uh, but the Simplicity Seven Series has been at my church has been replaced and. Uh, probably a close second place vacuum I've ever used is a NSS Pacer, one uh, UE one fifteen I think it's what it's called. It's a kind of like a commercial vacuum that you would see in hotels and like janitors use. It's really nice, really quiet, uh, has great suction. Um, I like it, and um, I've yet to see uh, it be replaced. Uh, it has a really awesome, um, like it's wider than most vacuums, so I like it. So uh, I know we used it on Easter Sunday a lot. So, uh, so this is vacuum. I'm about to use the Ricard 100 bank vacuum, 10 amp, really nice vacuum. Um, Oh, and I think I said this already, but the, yeah, the Simplicity 7 Series vacuum I can't find, so I think they got rid of it, both of them, which is kind of sad because they were really nice vacuums. So, nevertheless, it's time to vacuum with the Ricard. Let's do this. Oop, forgot to turn on the switch. That was my bad. Oop. There we go.
Okay, as you can see, very looks a lot better than it did. Um, you can really see a lot of progress with these vacuums. I these are like one of the some of the best vacuums I've used in my house. And like I said before, I need to make some more vacuum videos. But uh, so we featured the uh, Dirt Devil. I don't know if I featured that yet or not, but I think I, I have. Uh, so we featured the Dirt Devil, the Bissell, and the Recar. So all did an outstanding job. And all I cleaned out all the uh, the Dirt Devil the, and the Bissell because I I have not I don't like I'm not very good at emptying them when I'm emptying them when I'm done. So um, I did empty the Dirt Devil last time I used it because um, it was full. So I decided to empty it and um the Bissell I just it was like half full so I left it um and the Recar I know has a fairly new bag um but we like to I like to uh check it every now and again so well I'm gonna put the furniture back and finish vacuuming uh so but before I do that I'm gonna stop the one camera